but we're gonna do an unboxing. All right, let's see. Because I've discovered that there's an issue if I try to schedule these in advance. So I am just gonna update the details right now, <laughs> rather than have it not work. Although I don't know if anyone can see it yet, but I didn't schedule this at all. So there's no notice, December. Hello everyone! <laughs> I'm just fixing the title and the details <laughs> because if you don't know, when I've been trying to go live on my phone recently on YouTube, um, hi! Uh, it, if I try scheduling in advance and when I try to start, it just kicks me out. So I'm like, I'm gonna start the stream, then fix the title and all of the detail goodness. But I am very, very excited to unbox this today. I'm gonna add it to the playlist. Okay, hopefully, let's just check. Let's just check to make sure that it actually updated those things. Okay, it says that I'm live. Woohoo! All right. Um, I don't have a live control room up or anything. Hello, Gretchen, Virginia, Jilly, Jessica. Hello, hello, good morning. Yes, very impromptu because uh, trying to fit it in around everything but check it out so disclosures i am a paradise fibers affiliate which means that i earn commission for referring sales to their website and they send me the fiber of the month club for free to unbox and share with all of you but i have to say this is probably one of my favorite things and honestly we've just been watching the kevin's hanukkah special and paradise fibers inspired me a lot because I know how excited I get to see some of the little details and think about the thought that went into it. And so that's something I try to channel as I'm designing the Hanukkah samplers. And then I think this year I did a good job because at one point there was a stitch marker that came and I was like, that's the one I got for Hanukkah, just a different color and slightly different setup. So uh, <laughs> that, those kinds of things make me really happy. But So I've been trying to channel them uh, for this. You saw, oh, the it's so, the Paradise, fi the Fiber of the Month Club is sold out? Ooh, I'm gonna go check. See, this is what I get. So I'm actually waiting on an order from Paradise Fibers that I purchased myself because I got, let's see. No, Fiber of the Month Club says it's now accepting new members. So, I mean, I just went to the cart and I can, I was able to add it. It's, um, let me drop the link into the chat. Um, I have to get to the chat. <laughs> okay, oh, there I am. Am I, yes, okay, here is the link. Oh, it said sold out when you checked out? Ew, let me see. Because I was able to add it to my cart. Um, I'm testing this. It's gonna let me check out and I'm not logged in. So uh, maybe try again because maybe there was just like a, a hold up, but I mean, I could always definitely be wrong, but it was working just now. Um, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, it could be depending on area. Um, but yeah, I'm not logged in or anything special. Um, but anyway, I have a 
so a personal Paradise Fiber story, and this isn't this isn't their fault um, or or anything because I knew it was going to take a while. But um, I was gifted a rigid heddle loom. But I need in order to use it, I need a um, shuttle. Is that what the bobbin is called? The thing that you wind the yarn on that you go back and forth. So I ordered some from Paradise Fibers, but I think because they come from like the manufacturer, then that takes some time. And I also got another, I don't know the names of the tools yet because I've just barely set it up, but the dent, I don't know, the thing that does the like, the, the for the warp, the thing that the warp goes through with the pegs and the holes. I got another one of those for thinner yarn. Um, the, it came with one, uh, but yeah, uh, someone had a rigid head of loom that was collecting dust and so they gave it to me to try it out and so I'm really excited, but I can't use it yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was like, ooh, and I went and I placed the order with Paradise Fibers, but I know that I think that they have to wait, they have to wait for the stuff to come from the supplier to then get to me. So uh, it's just everything is taking an extra long time. Um, oh, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm very, very excited. Um, but yeah, I'm like, oh. So I'm like, oh, I wonder when that's going to come. And I also have no idea if they know that it was me that ordered it. Um, but in the meantime, I'm excited for some fiery goodness. And when I take my I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break <laughs> uh, starting like next week. I'm going to take like a week off. Um, and so I'll be spending some time like knitting and spinning. Um, you die specifically for wearing much of it on a rigid heddle. I'm really excited. I forget the kind that I have, but I haven't like featured it in like filmed anything with it. Cause I'm like, okay, I'm trying to figure out how to just build it. And then I was going to be like, look, but, uh, I haven't, like, there's, like, some things. That, I need to watch a video to finish setting it up. We have most of the frame up, but there's some strings and stuff that I have to tie that I'm like, I should watch a video before I do this. I'm not going to just do this according to the paper instructions. <laughs> yes, so probably probably after probably after Christmas. So I'm very, very excited. And um, also excited to just support Paradise Fibers for the accessories that I need. I was very excited when I saw that they had it. Um, even if I, you know, I would have to wait a little bit. I'm willing to wait. Uh, all right, but let's, uh, unbox. Uh, so that's my, my tangent, but yes. And I guess a friendly reminder, uh, things, shipping is clogged. There's a lot going on right now. And so I would say that if you ordered something, um, if you ordered something from someone and were hoping to receive it by... Hanukkah, which is now over, or by Christmas. The worst that happens is the holiday gets extended longer if you receive gifts that you are then going to share after the fact. So, yeah, I know there's a lot of stress going along uh, everywhere. Not as much with me, but just in general. I'm finding myself being like, okay, these things I expected them by now is what it is. Um... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Um, yeah, I mean, I just haven't tried further because I was like, oh, I should wait and order like a shuttle and decide what other accessories to get. Um, so, all right, but let's open. I should have grabbed a knife. But oh, lately, so they've switched to these to these bags. And so you get like a theme each month and it looks like sn snow, maybe. The thing about the lamp that excites me is I went to Wellesley College and they have very like beautiful lamps all over campus not quite this isn't a wellesley lamp um because it's like the shape and stuff is different but it just made me think of it reminded me of that so it sort of touched me um uh yeah it's a horror for all the the shipping has been awful yes um in oh it's narnia Ah, let's see. Da 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 da. Ooh. I don't even have the theme yet, but we've got a warm holiday wishes. Ooh. 
That is so cute. Okay, but I should pull out the card. The wardrobe. Oh! Oh! Can I? I haven't read the Narnia books. Are they age appropriate for a seven year old? Because maybe I should read them with Lucas, even though we're still in the middle of reading Harry Potter. But um, that would be why I didn't immediately guess. So I was like, oh, Wellesley. <laughs> But, uh, to yes, I would imagine that's totally it. Okay, so let's see. Narnia! Narnia, Narnia, you guys called it! Um, let us go and take adventures that shall fall to us. So fun! Maybe it has to be after a certain date each month. Um, oh, so it worked today? So, Teresa, my guess might be that uh yeah maybe maybe they closed it for um a bit while who knows maybe while dealing with like black friday backlog or something and then opened more up i i'm not sure um but yay i'm glad that it worked i'm glad that it worked um your eight year old loves it okay so that's something that i mean i love buying books for lucas but that's something that he'd probably really really enjoy but this is so pretty so i'm like so therefore my knowledge on this is not as um, detailed because I haven't read them, but it's a thing that's really fun with the Paradise Fiber kits because sometimes it's a theme that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm a mega fan. I know all these little details, but other times it's something that's, it's still enjoyable if you're not um, like, if, if you're not, you know, I'm not wearing a Star Wars helmet in this one, right? But so you can still really enjoy it even if you're not like the mega fan. Not that I'm not a fan, but you know what I mean. You don't have to be like totally immersed in the theme to really get enjoyment out of it. Okay, so simple things. This se season we in invite you to spin lace weight yarn for the delightful Simple Things Shawl by Caroline Hegwer. This, shawl, this knitted shawl is a reflection of her love for our simple life surrounded by family, nature, good books, and the smell of baking bread. Oh, pretty. Okay, and so alternate two colors. And I'm wondering um, if they're going to say where to find the shawl. But you can see here, it's a very gorgeous shawl. And it looks like, looking at this, that you can see, looks like there's probably a choice of four colors. Uh, I haven't looked at the the rest of the contents yet but what's cool is it actually shows them spun up so it looks like I got um the greenish one which I'm actually really really excited about um so let's see oh my gosh this is new Nia a collection of luxury cashmere merino and silk blends designed to elevate your senses and delight you with a winter ready color palette so I got um, okay, so this is the Nunia uh, one, and there's four colorways. So I got the, I, hmm, so not one, so I'm, I'm looking at this because there's Tree of Youth, but, okay, so the, no, so I got Wood Between the Worlds, okay, because I was looking, because I was like, the first one was, the first one on here said tree, and so then I was looking, I'm like, but mine's green. Okay, so I got Wood Between the Worlds, a mysterious forest realm of supposed water portals that allow magical travel between worlds of Charn, Earth, Narnia, and numerous others. In order to travel through, one must be touching one of the yellow or green magical rings. I don't know what that means, but I like the yarn. Let's open this up. Oh my, this is beautiful. So I would say that this has like an icy blue, a little bit of white, almost a neon green that is so subtle in the way it blends with everything. I think the silk almost has, it's it's almost neon. And then there's some, a few shades of green and almost a spruce type, uh, I'm having trouble telling if the, it's just a deep green or if there's almost a little bit of gray in here as well. But this color is stunning. Stunning. Okay. And so that is 
uh, the one. And then what did this say? I see. So in your bag, there's two. Okay, okay, okay. So this is Tree of Youth. Okay, so there's more, there's more explanation. So Tree of Youth, ooh. Okay, so this has the same powder blue, but it has some like silver, super reflective Angelina. Sorry, everyone. I got um, very distracted by the fiber. So this is shimmery and sparkly. Can you see? Yeah, you can see a tiny bit of it there, but it is really, really, really shiny. Um, and the notes in here, so it's got the blue and a little bit of the gray, but they complement each other beautifully well. Okay, so this is colorway right here is Tree of Youth. Um, a magical tree bearing inex inexpressibly beautiful silver apples with a divine, breathtaking, mesmerizing, and almost iridescent scent. Sorry, almost irresistible scent. Me and words. Uh, even sunlight fades in the bright light they cast. This is so cool. This is so cool. Um, yes. So if you want more of a specific color of fiber, I would call or email them. So as a fiber club member, you can get more of any of the, the colors that they release in the club box. It doesn't have to be the exact one that you got. Uh, you can get it and you get a 15% off discount on full priced fiber and you can get it before they release it on the website. So if you love, really love the fiber you got and you want more or you want the other colors, you can, uh, usually they don't release it until I think the end of the month, but you can reach out to them and they'll, they'll, they'll make it work for you. Um, so yeah, either phone or email. I forget. The one time I went and I did that, I then think I, they told me, I don't remember, I emailed and then maybe they told me to call, but it was close to when it was launching anyway. So then I just bought it. Uh, I don't remember exactly how I did that or if I did it over email. I now can't remember. Um, okay, so Nunia is four fluffy um, and then two have glitz. Blends inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, and so these whimsical and wintry blends have six tonal shades of fine merino wool, which is 70%, natural de-haired cashmere top, 15%, and Brilliant Grade A Mulberry Silk Top, 15%. Why we love them. The cashmere provides loft and warmth. The sim silk offers a hint of gleam and drape. And the merino provides your finished fabric with a smooth texture and wonderful temperature regulating properties. Spin these, to, um, spin these blends bulky to fine for luxurious tonal yarn or create magical art yarn and share your results. And I'm going to go through our little notions bag in a moment. But the other... I'm going to cover up because there's a code on here for the club. So the other two colors that I did not receive are, it looks like there's like a gold and purple one. So the, the purpley one is My Dear Lucy, the granddaughter of C.S. Lewis, who is the inspiration behind The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. You're never too old to enjoy a good fairy tale. And then One True King, the creator and king of Narnia, Aslan, is a representation of all that is good. Um... He appears to be large and terrifying, but equally magnificent and wise, lion with kind eyes. He watches over Narnia and protects from various evils. And my guess is that that the um, one true king is, um, if I had to guess, it probably has some gold glitter to it. Um, I don't know for sure, but that would be my Yes. Okay. And so then those are the colors that they show here. How much yardage do you estimate getting from the subscription? Oh gosh, that really, really, really depends. So it depends on how thin and dense your spinning is. So yeah, I mean, I, I, and I can't even, it's been a while since I've counted the yardage that I get. It also depends on if you're just doing a single ply yarn or if you're doing like a four ply yarn. So if you're doing lace weight, six ounces of fiber, um, so 100 grams is about four ounces. So in theory, uh, I you could probably get, uh, you know, 
in theory, one could easily get 400 yards or something out of this if you're spinning like thin enough and not super, super dense. And you could, I mean, you could probably spin this and get, I mean, if I didn't draft it at all, I could get two yards, <laughs> but you can also spin it a lot finer um, and get more. So with, I find for beginners, which I'm I like, maybe an advanced beginner. <laughs> Uh, I can spin some thin, like finger, light fingering weight singles. Uh, and maybe I've achieved a heavy fingering weight yarn uh, doing multiple plies. But I find that silk blends are really, really easy, are easier to spin really thin because the silk is both long but also adds strength to it. So that makes it a little bit easier. So is there enough in here to make this shawl that they're talking about? Absolutely if you spin it thin enough. Otherwise, I would say that, you know, there's, uh, so like this hat was done with hand spun for Ryder. Um, actually it was done for Lucas many years ago. And it did at one point, it was just a huge brimmed hat. And now Ryder just wears it uncuffed and it's still a favorite. This, uh, I spun a single ply sort of worsted weight yarn and about, probably about four ounces of fiber. I had enough yardage to do this. Um, you can get 400 yards from an ounce if you spin really, really fine. Well, <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Um, I have, ooh, I'm now curious. Um, yeah, I have some where like in general, I think that, what was the project? I had some that I am, getting better at getting more yardage. But I think for a while I would get around like 300 some yards from four ounces. I'm now curious. For a while I was really, really good and I updated my Ravelry stash. Um, my notebook, hand spun. No, I did not add it in. Oh, funny. Okay, so for this hat, I spun, so I had 114 grams and I spun it to 140 yards. Um, and then this used, uh, I saw 36 grams of yarn left over somewhere. I wonder where that is. Or maybe that went into the bobble. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So uh, that was, that is really, really funny. Um, but so that was a thicker, a thicker yarn. Uh, did I really not add any of my other hand spun? I guess not. Um, like there's a yarn I'm thinking of. Okay, so I got, um, there's one that I just pulled up from my blog that from about uh, four, it's four ounces, like 116 grams. Convert. Yes, okay, so four ounces is about 113 grams. So from four ounces, there is um, one where I was able to get around almost 400 yards. And when did I, when did I do this one? 2015. So near the beginning of my spinning adventure, when I spun more, I used to like really keep track of everything. I just hadn't updated anything on Ravelry. So I hope that helps. <laughs> I was like, goodness, I haven't counted the wraps in a very, very long time. So I hope that that is amusing. And thank you. The, um, it used to have a little bobble that went on the top, but it like fell off and I haven't put it back on. Thankfully the teacher saved that for us. But, oh, but this was something I was talking about at one point. This yarn was actually one that I wasn't very excited about necessarily because 
it's now looking like super, super rainbow. But I think when I got it, I was like, oh, these bright colors, I'm not really that excited about it. But then I decided to draft it in a way that you can kind of see here so that I like arranged it so that way I would get sort of a single ply, but like a barber pole. So I was drafting from two sections at the same time. And I ended up absolutely loving how the yarn came out, even though I was unsure with the colors first. And so one thing I really enjoy about a spinning subscription is, I mean, these colors are stunning and like, <laughs> there's no question that I'm going to love spinning with them. But if you get something that isn't quite your taste, it is really easy then to be like, okay, I want to try something. I just want to try something different. And it's an excuse to go out of your way and try something that maybe otherwise you wouldn't have tried. And so I think that that is something that is really, really fun to do. Um, and so, yeah, that that's something that I really, as when I started off getting a spinning subscription, and so then I could try S singles and Z singles and just try different things to figure out what I liked was really happy. Combo drafting. It's a great technique. Yeah, that, that was something that I don't remember if I, what made me decide to want to try that, but I was like, okay, let's just try something. And I wasn't even going for something really thin because, and then I just ended up absolutely loving how the yarn came out. So uh, you never, there there's a few others that I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This is incredible why was I like not as excited? So I think that the um, the possibilities with color are amazing. And I think that Paradise Fibers does a really great job of giving both combinations of luxury blends, sometimes using some less common fibers. Uh, they also give a lot of natural colors and fiber, and then sometimes some more wild blends and colors. And so it's a lot of fun. I still have my grab bag. Uh, actually, no, I think it's by my spinning wheel. They gave us a grab bag that had little bits from like a year of fiber, which was super, super fun. And I plan to do a, I don't know if it would be a stream, but I'm planning to fil somehow film doing that. And I'm going to blindly grab things from the bag. I just have to decide if I want to do first, if I want to do a two ply yarn or if I want to then chain ply after the fact. So that's it. Random question um, about a spinning wheel. Do your arms or back get tired? No, no, my arms don't get tired. Um, I, so I draft really, really small. Like I don't have a long draft, but I sort of do it close to my body. So my arms aren't really sticking out that far, I guess. Um, the bigger issue sometimes that I have is just making sure that I have a good height chair or stool so that way I can be really comfortably sitting um with with the the treadles but yeah I it that isn't something that usually like I feel sore or something after so I find it really 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 soothing I just have like stuff still in the bobbins I have to take off um Yeah, so I think that the yarn is, oh, we haven't even gone through the extras yet. We haven't gone through the extras. Let's see what we have this month. So we are in a cute little snowflakey bag. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I think that this is gonna light up. There's a progress keeper. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, okay, it's not supposed to blink. It's a light! That is so fun! So then you can... Oh, I see. Wait. It says to go that way for off. Oh no, but, okay, but off is... Oh no, maybe there's an arrow that says to twist that way to turn off. So you kind of untwist it to turn it off. Um, I wonder if I can stick this back in. No. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I don't want to lose it. This is so cute. 
That is so cute. Okay, and there's also this um, this little like green jewel. Oh, I should read. I, I haven't read what's in the notions bag, so that'll give me what the names of it are. And we have some little gems too. Because we got some stash tea, holiday chai, and we've got this is this is um, Eunice this month. So, okay, so in the notions bag, venture through the wardrobe and sip in a cup of stash holiday chai tea with a vinyl Mr. Cumnus sticker by the fire. Um, careful not to doze off or you might wake up to the white wish luring you with approximately 30 four millimeter faceted crystals. So there's like a little bag with crystals. Um, that's a bicone crystal beads and there's like a little, um, like needle threader here. So that way, uh, you can, uh, get the beads onto some fiber to like incorporate it into your spinning. Hello. Um, you can spend more than a half hour, then your body says stop. Okay. So then, so the white witch will, with the, um, the Bicone Silver Beads. Okay, so shine light on your journey. I'm like reading this and playing. Shine light on your journey with your illuminating lamppost flame stitch marker and adorn your projects while you go with your rhinestone tear, rhinestone teardrop stitch marker to ward off all creature blocks. Use your included threader to add your beads to your fiber as you spin or use a crochet hook to add them to your stitches as you knit. Could even sew these incandescent beads into your finished project. That is really, really cute. They put so much thought into these, and I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm so glad to have Eunice back. Although, wait, who is this? This is uh Mr. Tuminus. <laughs> I love, I just I love the puns. It's very much a treat yourself kind of moment and these colors are stunning. They're absolutely stunning. Aw. <laughs> yeah, fiber community. But anyway, I this arrived I think yesterday or two days ago. Tumnus is his name in Narnia. Okay, so then the tumnus <laughs> cuz everything has ewe in it, whether it's a pumpkin or whatever. <laughs> I love it. I, I absolutely love it. And I am now thinking how to carefully put these back into their bags. Yeah, so I'm hoping to take, coming up, I'm going to take a little bit of a just break. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Um, and including, I'm going to take a little bit of break from like shipping as well. Uh, I just put a notice up in my shop that if you place orders through Monday, I will ship it by Tuesday. But then uh, after that, I'm going to take a bit of a break and then the rest of the orders I'll ship at the end of December. I'm going to give myself like a week. <laughs> but I'm not putting my, the reason why I'm not putting the shop on vacation mode is that I don't, uh, since there's some outstanding lab partner orders, I don't, I want people to be able to contact me. So people can still contact me. I'll probably still be reading comments and stuff. And like, I still have um, the Die Pop PS episode for this month to finish up. But yeah, then I'm going to give myself a little bit of a vacation <laughs> and just focus on like, I mean, I'll curl up with some knitting and some spinning and I'm very, very excited. <laughs> but not do very much filming. So I'm going to set a rule. Good for you for taking a break. Yes. Wait, can you use a crochet hook to put beads in while knitting? Yes. I don't have a video on it, but it's something that I used to do um, a fair amount. If you have a super tiny crochet hook, um, so if you have a super tiny crochet hook, you can actually fit the bead over it. And so then you can put sort of put hook the stitch you want to put the bead on and then slide it back through. Um, I have, you, you need tiny crochet hooks to do it. Uh, there's also methods that work really well using, um, some people use dental floss uh, to do it, and there's lots of other tricks, but uh, the crochet hook is one that I used a lot. 
I wonder if that's the one I use the most. More than the floss. Maybe. Once I got a small enough crochet hook that the beads could fit on. You now need a tiny crochet hook. Yeah. You need, it's you want super, super tiny ones. Uh, if I'm reminded, then maybe... Oh, no. What did I do with my... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, if I am reminded, then... Uh, well, I actually don't know if I remember how to do it, so I'll have to remind myself how to do it. I was like, oh, I could film a... And I'm like, Rebecca, you haven't done this since... I think the last time I really did beads was when Lucas was born. Um, I was doing a knit along that then paused because he was born, and then I finished it up when he was a newborn. Um, it was like a mystery knit along. And so I think that that was the last time I did beads. Because then when you have like your tray of beads, then you have a toddler. <laughs> but I could almost start doing it again. I do bead stuff with the kids. Um, yeah, like a, a super, super tiny one. Because I got, I had some that I'm like, oh, this is small. And it's like, oh, no, that doesn't fit. Uh, and so, yeah, it, it's fun. But if the yarn is... So the, the, the trade-off is if the yarn is too thick, then the crochet hook might be harder. And so, uh, yeah, the I've definitely spilled beads everywhere. I even have, I think I have a box filled with beads that I want to use. But uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have been having so much fun this week. I am getting sad that, Han like, well, okay, Hanukkah is over. But the Hanukkah special has two more videos. So I will be in the live chat room tonight at 8.30 and then p.m. Eastern time for the Superwash MCN bonus yarn. And then tomorrow night is the long vlog where I share basically everything I wish I could have shared along the way, but I didn't want to share spoilers. So in that vlog, I will uh, go take you through like my concept for Hanukkah this year. Uh, some questions as I was debating colors and considering things, uh, making and preparing the, the samplers themselves and the extras that I made and stuff like that. And so uh, it should be fun and I'll be in the chat room for that. So that way I can chat more about it. And I've been having a lot of fun. I think, I think next year, this year was really easy for me to do premieres every night because wasn't going anywhere. There were no holiday parties. There was nothing. Uh, it made it really easy for me to be av available every night uh, so that way I could join the chat. And so I don't know what I'll be able to do next year if I'll be able to do every night again. I haven't looked to see when Hanukkah 2021 is yet. Uh, I haven't gotten that far in my planning. Uh, so those are all things that I am thinking about right now. But anyway, I am going to go and it's my work day, a virtual party every night this week. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I, it's, it's been so much fun. It's been so much fun. Uh, I like, I like being able to hang out in the chat. <laughs> it's like a different kind of fun than when I'm in front of the camera, because sometimes like, I, sometimes I'm like, oh wait, I want to read at the same time as talk, but like when I'm on the keyboard, I'm like, oh, I can just type and type and type. <laughs> so I've been having so much fun. But I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Paradise Fibers for supporting me like in a lot of my journey. They are so kind and I just really, really enjoy all of my interactions with them and I love the thought and detail and care that goes into everything that they create. It is so wonderful and yeah and I mean now it's reminding me oh right I've never read those and I should read them and I'm not sure why I haven't. So that is something that I yeah is now on my list. Happy Hanukkah! Thank you! Oh, thank you all so much. I mean, I love being able to share my journey with all of you. And I love being able to excite and encourage other people to 
try new things. Because even before I started yarn dyeing, Chemnitz for me was about challenging myself to try things I hadn't tried before. And if I didn't like it, then I don't have to do that more. But, you know, I challenged myself to learn cables because of Chemnitz and then to learn color work because of Chemnitz. And so it really can, like, starting to like chronicle my journey really did encourage me to like keep trying new things. And so I'm really, really excited if I can get other people excited to try something new, whether you want to dye yarn or not, you might try like a different yarn base or try a different type of technique, or maybe in some way it might encourage you to go for it and give something a shot. So that's my goal. <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. Huge thank you for Paradise Fibers. Um, oh, I didn't even say. The Fiber of the Month Club starts at $34.99 a month uh, if you're in the continental U.S. And then there's options uh, that are available right now that are slightly more expensive if you're in uh, Alaska, Hawaii, Canada, U.K. If you live outside of those regions, send them an email to see if they're able to ship to your country uh, and they can help you set up. But the $34.99 does include shipping and you get at least six ounces of fiber every month and extras and there's always a fun, fun theme. So, it's a lot of fun. Um, would I ever consider doing a knit along where we dye our own yarn? Yes, absolutely. But I don't have the... Uh, I, I'm not, I, yes, I'd have to like plan and I don't have planning. Um, one of my next big projects into the new year is uh, like, there's a crowdsource project that I talked about in Chemnitz Lab to make a database of Dye Pot Weekly videos. And so I am almost, I'm taking a break. <laughs> I'm almost ready to go to start the like crowdsourcing of data collection for that. Um, but probably sometime in January, I think, because I'm trying to make myself step back for a week. <laughs> so yes, I would I would love to um, to do some kind of dye and knit along in some capacity. I think that that would be super super fun. I would just yes, there's organization and stuff that I haven't considered. But anyway, I'm gonna head out. And yeah, I, I don't know what I'm about to do, but I'm sure I'll figure that out in a moment. <laughs> Probably go edit. Uh, Dive up PS, I think is the last thing I need to edit. And oh, oh, Chemnitz Dialogue. Uh, I have an image. It's going to be a December 2020 through January 2021 um, because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do like a dying live stream so there's a chance at like the very end of december that i'll be able to or else then i'll do it sometime in early january but i'll probably release the image soon <laughs> i just decided on it today so anyway i think that a lot of people will be really excited about it but anyway i am going to head off uh the paradise fibers link i will drop in the chat assuming that i still have it in my clipboard Yes, it's in the chat, so you can go check it out. And they also have lots of other beautiful, beautiful fiber. Um, so thank you all so much for joining me today. And all the time, I love seeing, like, or if you're new, I just social distance hugs from me to you and subscribe. So anyway, bye, everyone. <laughs>